how to use the Suno AI app. I get comments all the time on my Suno videos about how this relates to the app, or I can't do this on the app, I can't do this on the app, how do you do this on the app? I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough of the Suno AI app. Also, if you're confused about all this prompting, here and look, because I built this ebook complete with 500 Suno prompts that also comes with a beginner formula to make sure that your prompts always make the music that you wanna make. Ow, my foot. That is linked in the description. You can get it on the YouTube shop and let's get started. This is the Suno AI app and you can see on the homepage, you have a for you screen. If you go to that, you can just kind of swipe through music. It's basically like a TikTok page for AI music. And if you scroll down, you can see trending songs, best of V5, staff picks, etc., etc. So the homepage is really just for listening to AI music. If you go to the next tab on the bottom left, you go to the hooks feed. This is basically where people upload their own songs and their own videos and some of them allow you to remix the audio. So you'll see a little remix tab above the heart. If you hear something that you like and you want to cover or extend it, you can do that. And if you tap these three dots, you can share it, you can add it to a playlist, or you can report it if you want to be an or you see something crazy up there. And right in the middle, we have the tab that you are probably most interested in, the create section. Creating in the Suno app is a lot more simple than using the PC version, but it also comes with a lot of limitations. So what we have open right now is the simple tab. This is basically how Suno started out. You type in a prompt, you get a song, you can click here if you want it to be instrumental, or you can add lyrics if you want to do your own lyrics. Right here is basically the style section where you just describe how you want your song to sound. Country song about a gay man rolling around in hay with his big gay truck. <laughs> And then if you want to, you can go to the custom tab where it does give you more options. You have the lyrics up top, you have your style, and then it opens up the advanced options like weirdness and style influence. And I forgot to mention style influence is just going to determine to what degree Suno takes your prompt into account for creating the music. And contrary to what I've seen on the comments, you can actually upload audio on the Suno app. You just have to go to the bottom where you see this music note and this mic, you click on the mic, and now you have three different options. On the left Left hand side you can upload files and this circle that's in the middle just lets you record you can hum a melody you just tap it and blah da 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 la di da di da and it records it and then you can create a song from something you just hummed that's what i use this app mostly for if i'm just out and about and i have an idea for a song i'll just hum it out and on the right hand side you can choose from one of the audio clips you have already uploaded in the past and if you tap on this gear icon in the top left corner you can open up these settings where you can decide which model you want to use and the lyrics model. I basically always go with Remy because it's just better. All right. And now if we scroll to this book looking thing, we have our library, which is basically all the songs we've ever created. Unfortunately, you can't access workspaces in the app, but you can use this filter if you just want to see the songs of yours that you've liked, your public, privates. And then finally, if you go to the right hand side, it just brings you right to your profile. And that's how you use the Suno AI app. If there's anything else you want me to cover this AI music related, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to check out the 500 Suno prompts so you can get started making AI music in the easiest way possible.